there is one other type of question on the, uh, on the English, and that's called rhetorical questions. Okay, rhetoric means meaning or organization. Um, so these questions are referring to the meaning of the passage or the organization of the passage at that point where the question is. Um, so these are different, and notice if you look at number 14 and number 15, these are examples of rhetorical questions. So was, um, let's see, so was number uh, seven and number 13. And they're very easy to spot, right? These are longer questions, they have a stem, okay? Now, first of all, the average student probably thinks they're harder because they're longer. No, 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 no. Length of a question has nothing to do whether it's easier or harder. And again, one of those things that um, the test maker can fool you with. Don't be fooled by what a question looks like. It can look very difficult and be very easy. It could look easy and be harder. So it doesn't have to do with that at all. In fact, these rhetorical questions, if anything, are actually a little bit easier. How come? Because although they're longer, they tend to boil down to one or two key words in the question. For example, look at number 14. The writer is considering adding the following sentence to the essay. Okay? They want to add this sentence. This growth can take the form of either branching, which forms stable symmetrical shapes, or faceting, which forms unstable complex shapes. And then it says, if the writer were to add this sentence, it would most logically be placed where? Okay. Um, what are the two key words in the question? It'll be in the sentence that they ask you to place in the essay. This growth can take the form of either branching. Think about it. What are, the, what, are, what are the most important two words in that question? I think you would get it if you think about it for a second. This growth. How come? Well, if you, if you have a sentence that starts with this growth, it implies that it must come right after some mention of what? Growth or grows or growing, right? And how many places do you think in the essay will there be a mention of growth or grows or growing? Probably just one. Because if there were more than one, you wouldn't know where to put this sentence. You get it? it has to, there has to be an objective clue to where to put this sentence. So if it says this growth, it implies they've just mentioned the word growth. So all you got to do is go back in the passage and find where they mentioned growth. And if you've read carefully, like we said you should, from the beginning, you might actually have caught that. Okay? And that's how you answer that question.